Hello students, uh, as I agreed, uh, I will take the optoelectronic devices for your honors degree program. Uh, let me share one uh, PPT. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, so uh, uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, 469, uh, EC469 optoelectronic devices. Uh, I will cover all the portions about uh, PAN, APD diode, and the uh, Fort microcavity photodiodes polymer and organic LEDs. These are the questions regularly asked me in previous question paper. You shared with me two question paper and I collected one more, uh, one more uh, question paper from the internet and uh, shared with you through email. I hope you all go through that. So what I am trying to do is, uh, let me uh, show, these are the questions coming from KQ 2009, numerical problem and Sustra poly polymer LED. And uh, again, numerical problem microcavity photodiodes. And um, so these are the question uh, uh, asking, uh, let me start this class with uh, the general block diagram of a communication system. Uh, any communication system, is, uh, there is a transmitter and a receiver, okay? So this is a block diagram of an optical communication system. So optical communication system, we have an optical source. This is a carrier actually, carrier source. So carrier in the, it can be laser diode or LED and um, the modulator, so uh, you might have studied uh, the AM modulator, FM modulator, digital modulator. Here uh, we are using a modulator as well. Modulator is also very important uh, examination point of view. I will cover the modulator parts as well. And um, input signal, this is a signal to be transmitted in the form of data, voice, or uh, voice, audio, or video. Uh, and it is transmitted through the optical fiber. That may be how you've done in your experiments uh, in your lab. So this is the transmitter side and receiver side is connected by the channel. Here the channel is optical fiber. And optical detector is, uh, this is part, this part we are concentrating more on this particular uh, slide. I mean this particular PPT. And um, what uh, what is going on here is uh, uh, this, uh, here comes the uh, photodiode. Uh, photodiode is here. So photodiode convert uh, the optical signal coming from here. Uh, that is light coming from here and depends upon the light power, it generate current. So optical signal is converted into electrical current. That is a function of optical detector. And after demodulator, we will get the original electrical signal. This is the electrical signal transmitted from here. The same electrical signal will be getting back. So in between there, in between here to here, it is complete here to here, it is completely optical domain. So optical signal is converted into electrical domain. That is a function of uh, this uh, 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 this photodiode. So the photodiode current is proportional to incident photons, incident light. So this part we are concentrating more on this uh, PPT. Okay. So this uh, general symbol of a photodiode, uh, suppose you uh, forget about these arrows, the symbol is uh, exactly the same of a diode, uh, anode part and cathode part. The sim arrow symbol represents that is light is incident on the for, uh, diode so that there is current. So if we are looking at the symbol of uh, this LED or laser, the arrows are moving out because they are emitting light. Here it is absorbing light and generate the current. So that is uh, uh, this uh, photodiode. There are two types of photodiode detectors. The PAN, P, PAN stands for P-type, intrinsic and N-type diode. And the APD, avalanche photodiode, the, you might have studied the working of avalanche photodiode. So avalanche photodiode means uh, when high electric uh, field is applied, uh, I mean high voltage, reverse voltage is applied. So there will be high electric field. Because of electric field, there is um, uh, high, huge current is uh, produced uh, in the reverse bias region. So we will cover this uh, aspect. The similar similar uh, theory is applicable for avalanche photodiode as well. We will go through that. Uh, let's uh, go through the PAN photodiode. Uh, PAN photodiode, uh, let me take uh, one uh, laser pointer from here. Uh, yeah. So PAN for the P stands for P region. I stands for intrinsic. Uh, undoped region and actually it is not 100% uh, undoped, lightly doped N-type semiconductor and N stands for N region. So the main important thing is that photodiodes are in, connected in reverse bias. That is very, very important. So whenever you come across a uh, question in uh, KTU, uh, 
uh, P and photo diode, uh, you must draw these two figures. Um, N plus means uh, highly doped N region. P plus means highly doped P region. In between, there is a lightly doped N region. So it is connected in uh, reverse bias. So these two figures are important examination point of view. Uh, so this is uh, working of a photodiode. Photodiodes are working in reverse bias, as I mentioned in the previous slide. Uh, when PN junction is reversed by, there is depletion region. That you studied from the previous classes, previous semesters. So you can draw a PN junction here, a reverse bias, E region, N region. At the middle, you can show the depletion region that containing immobile carriers, right? Electron hole on a, in circle, you can represent uh, 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 represent the immobile carriers. The PN photodiode, P region and N region are heavily doped. That is P plus and N plus region. The width of the intrinsic region represent the uh, region represent the PN. Uh, so the width of the intrinsic region is larger than P and N region. That is I already shown the previous uh, uh, here. The width of the, uh, the intrinsic region is compar comparatively higher than P plus region and N plus region. Okay. The PN dot the depletion region exits in the uh, undoped or intrinsic or lightly doped the intrinsic region the bit uh, higher uh, exists in the uh, uh, this region here the pn and the depletion region is formed here itself the depletion region is formed uh, so uh, the because of the depletion region uh, i mean undoped depletion region minimize the reverse voltage suppose in order to get a wider depletion region, we have to apply more and more voltage. Suppose, uh, for example, you take 15 voltage is the reverse voltage for getting this much depletion region. If you have an intrinsic region in between, you need only 5 volt. So voltage uh, power is power requirement is less because of applying a uh, intrinsic depletion region between heavily doped P region and N region. Okay, and uh, here. Uh, this is uh, this is also an important diagram. P plus region here it is P plus region, N plus region. In between there is a depletion region. So depletion region, uh, uh, you can see that the depletion region electric field is high as usual for any uh, diodes. Uh, so when uh, this uh, um, large number of photons are coming in the intrinsic region, so there will be electron hole pairs. I will explain that. And electron port pairs will be coming out. So that is immediately electrons are in, immediately attracted by the positive potential. So there will be a limiting resistor is here uh, not to protect the equipment for sudden uh, high charge uh, density because of high flow of electrons. Okay. Uh, so yeah, here when the reverse bias is applied, the depletion region must cover the intrinsic region completely. Intrinsic region, the middle region, as I shown before, the middle region is completely covered as the depletion region. Uh, so uh, you may be knowing the immobile carriers are concentrated more on the depletion region. When the light uh, intense in the H mu, that is photon of light, right energy, that is this, you might be knowing this is a conduction band, this is a valence band. Uh, PN junction, uh, you have the conduction band and valence band. So H mu, mu means the frequency, mu is equal to C by lambda, is greater than this uh, band gap energy. So it can uh, emit, uh, it can, uh, the depletion region contains uh, immobile carriers, and uh, the incident photons are uh, coming on the depletion region and split the immobile carriers into electrons and holes. So immobile carriers consist of both electron holes and they are electrically neutral, right? When the photons are coming to the depletion region and falling on this um, immobile carriers and separated out as electrons and holes. That is the fundamental theory behind this uh, photodiodes. And these carriers are, electrons and holes are immediately uh, uh, traveling through the junction and reaches the battery polarity, okay? So this is the working of uh, uh, this photodiode. Here, the photodiode reverse bias. So forget about this region. This is dark current region, dark current. Because uh, absence of light, uh, incident photon, there will be some current because of ambient light, like incandescent lamp or sunlight, etc. So this diagram just representing as the light intensity increases. So 10 milliwatt maximum current force. Okay, uh, 2 milliwatt minimum current. 2 milliwatt is incident light. So minimum current uh, flows, uh, one milliampere current. When it is 
10 milliampere uh, 10 milliwatt light intensity there is 4 milliampere so this type